gamers struggling with low FPS and Marvel Rivals, don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll show you the best tweaks to boost your FPS on a low-end PC. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more awesome gaming guides. Now, let's get started. In the very first step, we are going to make some changes in Steam Begin by opening Steam and navigating to your library. Locate Marvel Rivals, right-click on it, and select Properties. Next, click on the General tab. Copy the command from the description and paste it into the Launch Options field. Optimizing your Steam settings can significantly enhance your gaming experience by improving performance, reducing lag, and boosting stability. Adjusting the launch options for Marvel Rivals ensures smoother gameplay, faster response times, and an overall more enjoyable experience. Now we are going to make some best graphics settings in Marvel Rivals. To begin, launch the game, navigate to the settings, and open the display settings menu. Ensure that your primary display is selected as the targeted display. Next, set the display mode to full screen for optimal performance. Choose a 1689 aspect ratio and set the resolution to 1920x 1080p, which is ideal for most setups. If you're using a lower end PC, switching to 720p can enhance FPS and provide a smoother experience. Personally, I prefer 1920x 1080p based on my system specifications. For anti-aliasing and super resolution, enable NVIDIA DLSS. While these settings can be turned off, I find that NVIDIA DLSS significantly improves smoothness. Keep the sharpening value at the default setting of 80. Disable frame generation mode and under low latency mode, select NVIDIA Reflex low latency for better responsiveness. Adjust brightness to 50 and disable the FPS limit to let your system run the game without restrictions. Now, let's fine tune the graphics settings. Clicking the optimize button will auto adjust settings for better performance, but I recommend using custom settings for the best results. Set the graphics to custom. For global illumination quality, select SSGI. Choose screen space reflections for reflection quality. Set model quality to performance for faster rendering. To maximize performance, adjust post-processing, shadow detail, texture detail, effect detail, and foliage detail to low. Once all changes are made, click on Apply button to make changes. Now you need to download the optimization pack. The download link is available in the description box. Simply visit my website to get it. Once downloaded, extract the RAR file to your desktop and open the extracted folder. Inside, you'll find several subfolders, including registry tweaks, RAM optimizations, network tweaks, and park control. Additionally, there will be a TXT file titled Get Maximum FPS and Lower Ping in Any Game for further instructions. Start by opening the Registry Tweaks folder and running each Registry Tweak one by one on your PC. These tweaks will help optimize your system's performance for a smoother gaming experience. Next, open the RAM Optimizations folder and run the appropriate Registry Tweak based on your RAM size. This will help improve memory management and enhance your PC's overall performance. Now, proceed to the Network Tweaks folder and run the Registry Tweak. This will help optimize your network settings for lower latency and improved online gaming performance. Once you've completed the previous steps, open the Park Control folder and install the Park Control setup on your PC. After installation, launch the tool and you'll be presented with its interface. First, change the power profile from balanced to bitsum high performance. This profile optimizes system processes and prioritizes critical tasks, improving speed and responsiveness for demanding applications. Once selected, make it active. Next, disable the settings for Parking AC, Parking DC, Frequency Scaling AC, and Frequency Scaling DC. Set all CPU cores to 100% to ensure maximum performance. Enable Bitsum Dynamic Boost by checking the box and set it to Bitsum Highest Performance. Also, set the idle timeout to 300 seconds, which determines when the system will consider the PC idle. Finally, click Apply and then OK to save all changes. This will significantly enhance your PC's performance for gaming and other resource-intensive tasks. In the next step, open the Get Maximum FPS and Lower Ping in Any Game text file and copy the command from there. Then, go to your browser, paste the link, and click on the Download for Windows button to begin the download. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your Ping C. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. 
If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now we are going to make some changes in NVIDIA Control Panel. Open your NVIDIA Control Panel and navigate to the 3D Settings section. Under Adjust Image Settings with Preview, select Use My Preference Emphasizing and set it to Performance. Next, go to Manage 3D Settings, where you'll find global settings that affect all your games. Start with the Image Scaling option. Enable it and set it to 50. To track this, check the Overlay Indicator box, then click OK to apply the changes. Next, disable A-B Collision, set Anti-Aliasing Filtering to Application Control, and turn off Anisotropic Filtering. Set Gamma Correction to On and Anisotropic Mode to Application Control. Most other settings can remain at their defaults. Scroll down to Anti-Aliasing Transparency and turn off the Background Application, Max Frame Rate. Choose your NVIDIA GPU under the GPU setting, then click OK. Set CUDA System Foldback Policy to Driver Default and disable the DSR factor. For Low Latency Mode, set it to Ultra. You may want to test both settings to find what works best for you. Set Max Frame Rate and Multi Frame Rate to Off and choose Auto for OpenGL GDI compatibility. Make sure your GPU is selected for OpenGL rendering. To boost performance, set Power Management Mode to Prefer Maximum Performance and adjust Shader Cache Size to 10GB. Enable Texture Filtering and set Negative LOD Bias to Allow. Choose High Performance for Texture Filtering Quality and enable Trilinear Optimization. Keep Threaded Optimization set to Auto. Turn off Triple Buffering, set Vertical Sync to Use 3D Image Settings and set Virtual Reality Pre-Rendered Frames to 1. Click Apply to save the changes. Next, go to Configure Surround in Physics X. Select Physics X Settings and set the processor to your GPU, then click Apply. For display settings, go to Change Resolution to adjust your display resolution. In Adjust Desktop Color Settings, set Digital Vibrance to around 55 to 60% for enhanced color quality, then click Apply. Finally, in Adjust Desktop Size and Position, select Full Screen for the scaling option. If you're not using image scaling, just set it to full screen and hit apply to save your settings. Now we are going to disable high precision event timer, right click on start button, and select device manager. When the device manager window opens, navigate to system devices and click the drop down menu to expand it. Look for high precision event timer, HPET, in the list, right click on it and select disable to turn off HPET. Now we are going to do some best window settings for Marvel Rivals first. Go to Windows Settings and navigate to System Settings. From there, select Power and Sleep, then click on Additional Power Settings. In the Power Options window, choose Bitsum Highest Performance, which we previously set in the Park Control tool. This power plan is ideal for optimizing system performance, especially on low-end PCs, to enhance your gaming experience. Once you've selected Bitsum Highest Performance, click on Change Plan Settings. In the next window, click on Change Advanced Power Settings. Scroll down to PCI Express, expand the drop-down menu, and make sure the link state power management is set to off. Next, navigate to Processor Power Management and verify that both the minimum processor state and maximum processor state are set to 100. Then, locate System Cooling Policy and set it to Active. Click Apply and then OK to save the changes. Next, go to Storage Settings and enable Storage Sense. This feature automatically frees up space by removing unnecessary files like temporary files. Once enabled, go to the Temporary Files settings, check all the available options to select the files you want to remove, and click the Remove button to clear junk files from your PC. Return to the System settings and navigate to Shared Experiences. Disable this setting as it is unnecessary. Next, go to the Remote Desktop section and ensure it's turned off, as it's not essential and can be safely disabled. 
In the About section of System Settings, scroll down to Advanced System Settings. In the Performance section, click on Settings and under the Visual Effects tab, select Adjust for Best Performance. Afterward, enable the following options. Show thumbnails instead of icons, show shadows under windows, and smooth edges of screen fonts. Switch to the Advanced tab and ensure Programs is selected for Adjust for Best Performance. Click Apply and then OK to save these changes. Go back to Windows Settings and navigate to the Gaming section. First, ensure that the Xbox Game Bar is turned off. Disabling the Xbox Game Bar reduces background processes, freeing up CPU and RAM for other tasks, improving overall performance, especially during non-gaming activities. Next, in the Game Mode section, make sure it's turned on. Enabling Game Mode optimizes your system by prioritizing gaming processes and minimizing interference from background tasks, reducing CPU and GPU load for smoother gameplay. Next, return to the Home menu and go to Privacy Settings. In the General category, ensure that all options are turned off. This helps improve privacy and reduces unnecessary background activity, further optimizing system performance. Scroll down in Privacy Settings to locate background apps. Click on it and ensure that all background applications are turned off. Disabling background apps frees up system resources like CPU and RAM, improving overall system performance. Next, open the Task Manager by right-clicking on the taskbar and selecting Task Manager. Once it opens, go to the Startup tab and disable all unnecessary startup applications. This helps improve boot time and reduces resource usage during startup. Now we are going to do Services setting. Finally, open the Services settings by searching for Services in the Windows search bar and pressing Enter. In the Services window, scroll down to find SysMain, right-click on it, and select Properties. In the Properties window, set the startup type to Disabled, then click Apply and OK to save the changes. Disabling SysMain helps reduce resource usage and improves performance, especially on lower-end PCs. By following these steps, you'll significantly optimize your Windows system for better performance, especially during gaming or other resource-intensive tasks. Next. Copy the code from the description and open the Windows search bar and type Windows PowerShell and run the program as an administrator for full access. Once PowerShell opens, paste the code into the window and press Enter. This command will automatically launch the Windows utility. From there, navigate to the Tweaks section, where you'll find recommended options such as Standard, Minimal, and Clear. Select the Standard option and ensure that all the settings I've highlighted are checked. Then, scroll down to Continue. Next, proceed to the ONO Shutup settings and run the ONO Shutup setup on your PC. When the program opens, you'll be presented with its interface. Although you can manually adjust the settings, it's safer to apply the recommended ones. To do so, go to the Action tab and click on Apply Only Recommended Settings. This will automatically apply the optimal settings for your PC, ensuring both peak performance and safety. Now, in the next step, go straight to your Windows search and search for Registry Editor, and make sure to run this as administrator for having full access. In the registry editor, we are going to disable driver searching. Disabling driver searching improves system performance by preventing unnecessary online driver searches, ensuring faster installations and reducing potential security risks from incompatible drivers. Simply copy the path from the description, open the registry editor, paste it into the search bar and press enter. After navigating to the specified directory, right-click, select the New option, and click on DVWORD, 32-bit value. Name the new value TDR Delay, ensuring you use the same capitalization, and press Enter. Next, right-click on it, select Modify, and set the base to hexadecimal. Change the value to 10, which increases the timeout detection and recovery TDR delay to prevent driver resets. Finally, click OK to save the settings in the registry editor. Now, for the next step, we are going to enable system power management. This will enhance performance, particularly for PCs running faster. Simply copy the path from the description, open the registry editor, paste it into the search bar, and press Enter. Once you're there, locate the Hibernate Enabled entry. Right-click on it, select Modify, and change the value data to zero. Set the base to hexadecimal and click OK. This allows the system to save the current state to the hard drive, enabling faster startup times and preserving open applications and documents. It also reduces power consumption compared to sleep mode, making it ideal for laptops to conserve battery life while not being in use. Now for the next step, we are going to disable prefetch and superfetch on the PC. 
Copy the path from the description, open the registry editor, paste it into the search bar, and press enter. Once you're there, locate the setting for Enable Prefetcher. Double click on it and set the value data to zero. Disabling these features can improve performance, particularly on systems with SSDs. Ensure the base is set to hexadecimal, then click OK. This will help optimize your system's performance. Now, copy the path from the description again, open the registry editor and paste it into the search bar. Press Enter to navigate to the correct location. Once you're there, right-click, select New, and create another DYAWARD 32-bit value. Name this new entry, no load disk space checks, press enter, double click on the entry and change the value data to on. Set the base to hexadecimal and click OK. This tweak will help improve your system's efficiency by disabling unnecessary disk space checks. Next, we're going to increase the system responsiveness. Copy the path from the description, open the registry editor, paste it into the search bar and press enter. Once you're there, locate the responsiveness entry. Double click on it, set the value data to zero, and set the base to hexadecimal. This change will allocate more CPU power to foreground applications, which will improve performance in gaming and other resource-intensive tasks. Ensure the base is set to hexadecimal, apply the same settings, and then click OK. Next, we are going to increase our file system caching. Copy the path from the description, go to the registry editor search bar, paste it here, and hit enter you will find I.O. Page Lock Limit. Right-click, go for New, and select DD Reward 32-bit value. Name it I.O. Page Lock Limit and press Enter. Double-tap here, set the value data to 51200, set the base to hexadecimal and hit OK. Next, we're going to optimize the registry to reduce shutdown time. This will decrease the amount of time Windows waits to stop services during shutdown. Copy the path from the description, open the registry editor, paste it into the search bar, and press enter. Once you're there, locate Wait to Kill Service Timeout, double-click on it, change the value data to 2000 milliseconds, and click OK. This tweak will help speed up the shutdown process. Now, for the next step, we're going to enable faster boot time. This will make your PC boot up faster, especially on low-end systems. Copy the path from the description, go to the search bar, paste it here, and press enter. Right-click, go for New, and select DWORD 32-bit value. Name it Enable ULPS and press Enter. This is the ultra-low power state. Double-tap, change the value data to zero for faster boot time, set the base to hexadecimal, and hit OK. Now we are going to optimize our network performance for gaming. Copy the path from the description, search for it, and hit Enter. In the first place, you'll need to edit your GPU priority. Double tap, set the value data to 8, set the base to hexadecimal, and hit OK. Next, go for Purity, double tap, set the value data to 6, and hit OK. Now find Scheduling Category, double tap, and set the value data to High. Hit OK. That's it for today's guide. I hope these tips helped boost your Marvel Rivals experience on a low-end PC. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss out on more gaming tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.